I don't know if somebody told you, but I think somehow you knew already. You seemed to notice very quickly and you rushed over, like someone who's going to come and trying to make a fuss and hug you and stuff. And I just wanted to look away or crawl under the table to get there. But you were so smiley and spoke really so gently. And I still wanted to hide because that's what I do, how I cope. But then I couldn't because the chair was stuck against the table and I was getting upset. And then you just said, should we sit down and I'll sit over there if it's easier for you? And it was. So that was good. Until we had to do some written work because the computers weren't working, because they were having upgrades. And I always liked to be prepared. And then it turned out that you didn't have a pencil and asked if I had a spare. Which I don't. But could I let you borrow, borrow one of mine? After I'd made sure that the sellotape over the piece of post-it note, the bright yellow one with my name written on it, was securely stuck down. Because while I could agree to loan you a pencil, because I've got quite a few of those and they're quite plain, I had to be certain that my third favourite pencil was going to be returned after class. And it was, which I was very pleased about. Then when we had to do an exercise which was difficult, for me anyway, you explained it for me. Because while I like business studies, sometimes it takes me longer when I have to read something first. And that's how we got to know each other, really. And I'm glad we did, because I was worried about all sorts of things. I do often worry about life, really. It can be scary moving somewhere different, especially had I just got used to being settled where I was. And I know when things have to happen, new situations are inevitable, but they can still be scary. So I was super glad when you could come with me to the next session I was still getting used to the layout. It's a bit confusing. So that was good when you were in the same session. And then, when you wanted a pen again, I thought I could trust you with my second best pen. Did you know it was my second best? And then when we had to move again to the next session, you came with me. But when we got there, you sort of stop and look at me funny and say, your next session is something else in a different room and you couldn't come in. Thankfully, you opened the door and stood back so that I could see there was two other people in there and you knew one of them. So, this is my friend Jodie, you said. And one of them smiled. So that was all right. And I could go in. You did that.